Hello everyone, my name is Faye, known as Faye Louise Dennis on Instagram and I'm super excited to be bringing you my three tutorials with Bio Sculpture today. I'll be showing you how to use the high pigment gel, I'll be showing you the difference between high pigment gel and normal polish, how I do my negative heart using the high pigment gel to make that perfect colour and also a gradient triangle tutorial. I hope you enjoy and yeah, follow me on Instagram. So let's get started. I'm going to begin with showing you the difference between normal gel polish and a high pigment gel. To do this I'm going to be using Evo Daniela and the Black Biosculpture High Pigment Gel. I personally like to mix the high pigment gels with a small amount of base gel just because I find it easier to work with a slightly thinner consistency. If I'm using an Evo colour I like to use oxygenating base and if I'm using a bio pot colour I like to use the bio base. Next I'm taking my Biosculpture Upper Arch brush and I'm just going to start off by showing you a star using Evo Daniela. Normal gel polish has a thinner consistency compared to high pigment gel. This can make the colour payoff slightly weaker and for colours such as black the finish may look grey unless you do two coats. I also find it harder to get those really clean sharp lines using normal gel, therefore when it comes to any small intricate design I always opt for high pigment gel. As you can see the colour is slightly patchy in certain areas and the lines aren't as clean and precise as I would ideally want them to be. Next I'm going to show you the same design but in high pigment gel. I'm just taking a little bit of product onto my brush as you don't need a lot when dealing with high pigment gel as it's better to build with it as you'll be able to get cleaner lines with less on your brush. As the design is slowly coming together you can already see that the black is much more pigmented and I'm able to get cleaner crisper lines. Once I am happy with my design, I'm going to cure for 60 seconds under the lamp. Then I'm just going to take the gloss top coat and do a layer and then cure for 30 seconds. And there you have it, normal gel versus high pigment gel. For my next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you that you can actually mix your high pigment gels too, to get that perfect colour. The Biosculpture high pigment gels come in a range of different colours, for example red, blue, black, white, purple and even gold and silver. But if you wanted a deep darker red, you can actually mix the red high pigment gel with the black high pigment gel to get that perfect colour. Here I wanted my red to be a little bit more vibrant so I just added a little bit more of the red high pigment gel. Then just like before I'm going to add a little bit of oxygenating base and mix it in with the colour to get that perfect consistency. The design I'm going to be showcasing today is a negative heart tutorial. This design has a lot of intricate line work, therefore you want to use high pigment gel as you don't want the colour to move whilst you're working on it or flood into any other areas. Here I'm just creating guidelines for my heart. I like to start off with a line down the middle, across at the bottom, and then as you can see here, I like to curve around and connect both of the lines together. This creates the shape of a heart. Once I'm happy with the shape I have created, I just like to fill in each of those kind of corners that I've created with my guidelines with the high pigment gel. It is important that you don't layer on the high pigment gel too thickly as it could crinkle in the lamp. That's why I like to do it corner by corner. And just to make sure that the heart is perfect, I just like to take a flat brush and just clean up that middle line that I created at the start. This will just give the front of the heart a lovely point. Then I'm going to finish this design by doing a gloss top coat and setting in the lamp for 30 seconds.
Last but not least, I'm going to be showing you a gradient triangle tutorial using the Biosculpture High Pigment Gels. Also, always make sure to give your high pigment gels a shake before using. Here I'm using the blue high pigment gel and the white high pigment gel and mixing them up individually using the oxygenating base. To start off this design I'm going to be using my upper arch and creating a little triangle at the bottom of the nail using the pure white high pigment gel. Whilst that is curing in the lamp for 60 seconds, I'm going to add just a little bit of the blue high pigment gel and mix it to that pure white. Then I'm going to create a second triangle using that lovely baby blue that we've just created. Then once that design is curing in the lamp for 60 seconds, I'm going to take a little bit more of the blue high pigment gel and mix it to that lovely baby blue. Then using the slightly darker shade that we have just created, I'm going to create my third triangle. And I'm sure you've guessed it, but we're going to add a little bit more of that darker blue to the lighter shade to create our next triangle. I love using high pigment for this design as you can create a really clean, crisp line making those triangles look really sharp. Repeat this process again and again until you reach the top of the nails. When doing this on a client, take into consideration that different people have different length nails, therefore you want to adjust the size of your triangles to fit the person's natural nail shape. The final triangle, I want the shade to be a really rich dark blue, therefore I'm going to mix the original blue high pigment gel with its own oxygenating base, therefore it has no white mixed into it and it will be the strongest blue. Then I'm going to cure that design for 60 seconds and finish with a top coat. And there you have it, my gradient triangle tutorial using the high pigment biosculpture gels. Thank you all for watching my biosculpture tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Faye Louise Dennis.